This is uh, Quercus suber, cork oak, uh, a beautiful tree native to Europe, mostly uh, Portugal uh, and through uh, Northern Africa. Uh, works very well in our environment here. Uh, a lot of the same characteristics of the native oak trees. Uh, it is drought tolerant. Uh, it's an evergreen tree. Uh, mostly looks like this uh, all year round. Uh, this time of year in the springtime is when it does lose its leaf. Uh, some of the older leaves do turn a little bit yellow. So um, in its overall appearance uh, for the next few weeks, this is probably the uh, worst it's going to look. Uh, this tree, unfortunately, is not in the best health. It uh, looks like there's been some cutting to the root uh, and perhaps it has some mold or fungus that's attacking it, uh, causing it to die from the back. Uh, the cork oak is mostly known for the actual cork that it produces uh, on its trunk. Um, that cork is used for uh, uh, wine bottles. The cork of wine bottles is basically harvested from the cork oak itself. Uh, mostly grown in orchards just like any type of agricultural plant. Uh, a little bit bigger than most agricultural plants of course. Uh, usually the cork is harvested every seven years. Uh, and they basically just go in and they cut the outside bark off. And I have this little sample here of actually a cross section of the cork oak. So you can see the actual cork that's happening here on the outside uh, is uh, a more of a protective layer of it, uh, uh, allowing it to uh, survive fires or uh, pest infestation. Uh, it is not a live part of the tree, but more like our skin where it's uh, a dead outer layer that's basically protecting the inner part of the tree. Uh, what happens is, is that over time as the tree matures, and, and this was a branch or a younger sized uh, cork oak, so you can see the cork itself hasn't gotten uh, uh, overly thick yet, but uh, it definitely builds on itself over years. Uh, and they uh, eventually do, I think it takes about 20 to 25 years for it to age to a large enough size to start harvesting the cork. Like I said, they harvest the cork every seven years and they basically just come through and they skin the outside of the tree itself, uh, turning that into not only cork uh, for wine bottles, but flooring uh, and other cork boards, things of that nature. Basically all the cork is coming from this particular tree. Um, I highly recommend it for planting uh, in Palo Alto and the Bay Area. Uh, because of its uh, drought tolerant characteristics. Uh, it also, its leaf is a little less pointy than our native oak tree, uh, and it produces a less uh, heavy acorn crop than our native oak tree, so it's a little bit easier to live under and around. This is Quercus subra, cork oak.